Japan, a land of varied geography with a culture that prides itself on premium quality and attention to perfection. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit one of Japan's newest whiskey distilleries located in the hills of Komura within Nagano Prefecture. Co-founded by award-winning master distiller Ian Chang, Komaro features bespoke facilities and has been generating exceptional attention from the global industry. My name is Ian Chang. I come from Taiwan, uh, 48 years old this year, and um, I love whiskey. <laughs> and, <laughs> Having previously won the award for World's Best Whiskey two years in a row from his impressive portfolio at Cavalan, Ian Chang attributes a lot of his success personally with mentorship from the late Dr. Jim Swan, one of the world's greatest minds on whiskey production. I think Japanese whiskey is all about harmony, the fruitiness, the floral, uh, the woody character, the peat, everything is uh, appreciated very in a very balanced, balanced state. Last year marked 100 years since the adoption of whiskey production in Japan and the opening of Komoro Distillery. As such, the World Whiskey Forum was held in Japan earlier this year. Not only was this prestigious event held in Asia for the very first time, it was hosted directly at Komoro Distillery. Komoro, a city close to the Japanese Alps, enjoys distinctive seasons throughout the year. Enveloped by mountainous forests and a climate similar to Scotland, of which this style of whiskey is based upon, Comoros' location provides the perfect conditions for making whiskey with age statements. Here, as you can see outside, you know, it's already March, but it's still quite cold. So our water comes from Asamayama, uh, the, uh, the melted snow, uh, naturally filtered by the volcanic earth layers and that is actually perfect for fermentation because all these minerals, they are like the vitamins to the yeast to give it vitality, you know, uh, to be lively because uh, like, just like human beings, if we don't have energy, we cannot, you know, do the work properly. There are just three ingredients required to make whiskey. Malted barley, yeast, and of course, water. The natural water in Komoro is of such a high quality and in abundant supply that locals can enjoy free-flowing springs to stock up for their own personal use. The clarity and freshness of the water is unlike anything I've seen before. Enriched with minerals, its unique complexion gives Komoro further advantage for making whiskey. At the distillery, Malted barley arrives in one-ton bags and is ground to a flake-like consistency. It's then mixed and processed with warm water to extract sugars and create wort in a mash tun, reaching temperatures around 80 degrees Celsius. The mash is then transferred to wooden containers known as washback, where yeast is added to the mix. This creates a chemical reaction and starts the fermentation process. Craftsmen work to a precise recipe, cycling through the various processes with everything monitored for immense accuracy to keep production consistent. The whole process takes a few days in total. After fermentation, the liquid becomes around 8% alcoholic and is known as wash, the wash is then added to the pot stills. These giant copper stills are the signature centerpiece to the distillery and are absolutely beautiful to behold. Glowing in the golden sun through the giant observation windows, the main process of distilling begins. The liquid is heated just enough for the alcohol to evaporate, leaving much of the water behind. The evaporated alcohol is then collected by condensation and the process is repeated in a second pot still to further clarify the end flavor and complexity. The resulting liquid can now be called new make spirit. This phase of the production is closely monitored and measured with aroma being one of the key identifiers to initial quality. You know, being a, being a distiller and blender, Jim always told me that it's like uh, being a parent. So, uh, the new make is like a baby born uh, and then you have to make sure it goes through the right 
uh, family education and uh, school education and eventually when they enter into the society it's like when you release your whiskey into the market uh, to let consumers you know appreciate the uh, the quality the new make has a sweet spot for production requiring years of experience to identify the middle cut or heart is where the best flavor and complexities lie with the initial four shots and end tails being redistilled for their lack of quality and consistency. It's much smoother than I thought. Oh, no. mm. I thought it would be like so, pungent. Wow, mm. strong mm. alcohol. Yeah. Oh, it's the most important part of the process for creating the flavor, color, and unique characteristics of whiskey come from the maturation process. It's an era of utmost secrecy for every distillery, especially one emerging onto the scene with astronomic expectations. Casks are purchased from other alcoholic beverage producers from all over the world and filled with the new make. The specific source of the casks is heavily protected to maintain a competitive edge. Depending on whether a former sherry cask, bourbon cask, or even a cask using wood from a sakura tree, unique colors and flavors develop within the whiskey during the maturation process. Here, we can see a sherry cask being filled with a new make straight from production. Around 500 liters will fill this cask and mature over the next few years, three to five at a minimum. Throughout the process of making whiskey, various measurements are necessary for creative, business, and of course, legal requirements. When filling a sherry cask, measurements are taken for liquid out from the storage tank, liquid into the cask, the physical depth of the liquid, and the overall weight of everything combined. It takes around nine filling stages to fill a single sherry cask, with each of these measurements taken at every stage. Once sealed, the casks are stored in a large warehouse for a number of years. Through the seasonal climate of Japan, the casks are frequently reorganized and reoriented to maintain consistency of temperature and environment. The storage facilities are designed specially to control airflow and are monitored constantly. Each year, it's estimated around 2% of the liquid will be lost to evaporation. Known within the industry as the angel share, Comoros lighting is a gentle nod to this act of nature. So many consumers might think that casks are just vessels to contain the whiskey. But actually, when it comes to percentages, uh, cask will have 60 to 70% of the overall influence to the quality of the final product. And that's why it's very important. During the maturation process, Ian Chang will personally sample the taste and progress of each cask and fine-tune any further details of the production process to maximize its potential. These particular batches from Comoro are set to mature for a minimum of three years, with the first releases for 2026 and 2027 already being completely sold out. Whiskey is of course enjoyed throughout the world. I've never noticed as many dedicated whiskey bars and patrons as I have in Japan. There is an artistry and dedication to every single pour, regardless of the establishment. The best way to enjoy whiskey directly is either neat or diluted with water. Of course, there are also plenty of cocktails you can enjoy whiskey with. You know, there are many ways. In Japan, highball is uh, the most popular way to drink uh, whiskey. So being a producer, I encourage people to drink any way you like it, because that's your, that's your whiskey. Uh, you know, you can enjoy it any way you like. It's just that when you want to differentiate uh, the flavors and the quality, when you want to be the judge, you add water only. Mm -hmm. And never add ice if you want to judge a whiskey. At Comoro, Ian Chang also brought Eddie Ludlow into the team, a world-renowned tasting judge. Passionate about education within the whiskey world, he has personally curated an academy for tasting and experiencing a variety of whiskeys. From fine-tuning your palate, you can then enjoy cocktails from master craftsmen, including a previous winner of the Japanese bartender competition. 
Like other beverages, the design of the vessel can adapt and change the flavor and aroma of a drink substantially. Depending on how the vapors are maintained or released within the glass, the taste and complexity of each whiskey will further develop. Uh, my personal mission here this time is to uh, pass on everything that I have learned from Jim and also his legacy to our future uh, generations of distillers. One of the things I love about visiting industrial locations is seeing the physical machinery and workflow of everything. Following the pipeline throughout a distillery as beautiful as Comoro satisfies both my curiosity to how things are made and my appreciation for aesthetics. Not only in the end product, but the process itself. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time in Comoro, experiencing one of Japan's newest whiskey distilleries. I feel incredibly fortunate to be at the foundation of an exciting story that will mature and develop as complex as the whiskey it's based upon. The kindness and sincerity I felt from everyone at Comoro in sharing their passions and craft gives me full confidence in the premium nature of this excellent new make. With attention to quality, no corners cut and no expense spared, all eyes will be on Comoro for the next few years.